Hey, happy Sunday, everyone. Welcome to Riley's Reptiles. My name is Riley. And today, I thought I would get some of my thoughts out and maybe demonstrate how I go about uh, sexing baby snakes using the popping method. And today, we'll specifically talk about baby carpet pythons. I am no expert on this subject. I have had plenty of trial and error myself and am still not perfect. But I figured I could probably show you guys how I uh, have learned this technique and what I'm looking at when I'm doing it and maybe give you guys some tips so you can learn on your own at home So let's dive on in All right, so right here we have a little baby Granite carpet python that's about 11 days old and Most people will tell you they sex their babies right out of the eggs And I never understood why especially when it's going to take a while for them to go to new homes but once you do it, it makes perfect sense. When they're this young, they haven't had their first shed, they haven't started eating, and they really don't know what to do, um, they have less muscle control as well. So what that means is you tend to get less pushback trying to sex them at this age. Now that being said, I will go back and double check a few when they're older if I'm uncertain if it's a possible female because you start getting all females and you don't see any hemipenes and you start doubting your technique. So, first what I like to do is get the animal in my hand straight as possible. And he's going to hook onto the tripod here, so as long as we don't knock it over, we'll be good. And there you see two little hemipenes. Now, ow, he's biting me. I will show you exactly what I did and break it down for you. So, first step is positioning your hands properly. If this is the top of his back, I like having a thumb by the vent here and an index finger on top where the spine is. And then this finger below the vent here. And it's a combination of applying a little bit of pressure, pulling the vent this way and rolling, but doing all of these gently and with the right timing. Now I'm not gonna do it a bunch with this guy because he's not happy with me, but I hope you're able to see it in that first clip and practice a couple times with each animal and if you don't get it let them go try it again later with a different animal you don't want to hurt them so doing it once or twice is all right but anything more you know you could end up hurting him as you can see this guy's in shed and me trying it is uh is separating some of that old skin that's due to come off so practice makes perfect everyone don't stress your animals out don't hurt them and if you have somebody nearby you who can do this and show you in person I highly recommend that because as you can see it's stressful on them and you can hurt them anyway thanks for watching cheers